Hey guys, so in this video we're going to be painting this collie dog, so let's get started. So these are the colours that I'm going to be using in the painting today. They're not all colours that you would normally expect to see in a dog, but I'm going to explain to you why I've chosen those particular colours during this clip. I've already blocked in most of this dog, so we're going to start from here in this clip today. A lot of people ask me how I choose the colours that I use to paint my animals and it's a lot simpler than that because really all I'm doing is accentuating the colours that are already there. Now this might be confusing for some people so I'm going to explain how it works. So the reference picture that I use should just have popped up in the corner. Now I use this reference just to get the general shape and the colours in the dog. So. As you can see, the darker parts, I'm put, instead of using that brownie black colour, I see that as a dark blue purple colour. And in, the, in his back, you've got your yellows, oranges, even reds going through there. And in the dark part in the middle of his back, I add uh, purples, darker reds. The great thing about acrylics is that you can just keep layering paint as much as you like. So when I first start, I would block in the dog in a few basic colours. So I would probably use a dark blue, an orangey yellow, a white, and maybe even a lighter yellow. And I would paint the whole dog just using those colours. From there, I would start to add in the details. As you can see here, I'm now adding in some yellow highlights to uh, build out the dog. I'm also adding a little bit of red here and there. I find that adding a touch of these bright colours really makes the dog pop out, but you don't need a lot. I also use a, a very opaque white. So this almost makes the colours that I've used below just look like a lighter version. So I have to really build up the whites I use to get a really strong white colour on my dog. I often use white, a very light blue or a bright yellow to build up the highlights in my paintings. As you can see, just a tiny bit of this yellow really changes the look of the dog and really brightens it up. So I've then gone over with my opaque white to kind of soften that really bright yellow colour a bit. To finish things off, I'm using the darkest colour in my palette, which happens to be a dark purple. I try and use darker blues or purples instead of blacks wherever possible. This kind of adds a bit more of a depth to the dark black colours and um, brings the painting out a bit more. I only use black very, very sparingly, usually right at the end to, to do the details of the darkest, darkest points in my paintings. So there you have it. If you like this video, please hit subscribe. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. There's more details about those in the description below. Thanks.